And we were expecting the storm system to continue to pummel us, but hey, at least we don't have volcanoes erupting. And we do have that going on across places like Alaska. We saw yesterday a volcano that erupted across the Aleutian Arc. It's a consistently very active one. I'm not sure if we have that video if you guys want to go ahead and roll on it. But again, out of Alaska and, and the Aleutian Arc. So it actually erupted on Sunday. And it's very active out there. So again, continuing to track that threat. You can see here on your screen all of that plume of ash and smoke coming out of that volcano. You're looking at a volcano eruption and strength history from 1600 to the present. It's very obvious that there is a lot more activity than there has been in days gone by. California's next big earthquake is coming, folks. You've been hearing it for so many years, but according to a leading scientist who says the Southern California section of the San Andreas Fault is now primed for some action. San Andreas is the state's longest fault and one of the most dangerous. Chief Correspondent Jonathan Hunt, live in Los Angeles for us. So, Jonathan, what, what are they seeing in this fault at this point? Well, some pretty stark warnings, Martha. We haven't had a big one along the southern section of the San Andreas Fault as earthquake scientists define a big one since about 1857. But there's obviously been a lot of earthquake activity around the globe recently. You'll remember the terrible pictures uh, we have seen from Ecuador, for instance. So this is a slide from the USGS, uh, Worldwide Deadly and Destructive Earthquakes. And again, take a look at the frequency of how much they're going up. The clue phone is ringing loudly. The last slide here is showing again the ring of fire and the different subduction zones there are. And it shows that the blue stars show the major earthquakes within the last 50 years. But if you look, the Juan de Fuca subduction zone hasn't had one. And it's seriously overdue. Take a look at my other video. Uh, they talk about it specifically. And the, the whole northern seaboard of the United States is going to get affected. And if that happens, there could be a massive loss of life and economic collapse and life as we know it will be different. Now they're saying San Andreas Fault long overdue. And when you look at a map of the San Andreas Fault, it's about 800 miles in total in length right along California. But it's that southern section near uh, Los Angeles that they're concerned about. You see San Bernardino and Riverside marked there, suburbs of L.A. And they say that that section looks ready to go. The quote, in fact, from Thomas Jordan, director of the Southern California Earthquake Center, was this, quote, the springs on the San Andreas system have been wound very, very tight, and the Southern Andreas Fault in particular looks like it's locked, loaded, and ready to go. Frightening words, and every earthquake expert we've been hearing from in probably the last decade, Martha, has been saying the same thing. The one thing they can't agree on is exactly when it's when. coming. Well, first of all, on the uh, preparations, they say that we should be prepared for an eight magnitude earthquake. Obviously, that is absolutely huge. Uh, they put out a simulation, in fact, of what the shaking might look like in the L.A. area. And a 2008 U.S. Geological Survey uh, report said that if we had something like a 7.8 earthquake, for instance, it could cause something like 18 1,500 deaths, 50,000 injuries, and something like $200 billion in damage to the Southern California area. So this is a major problem. Uh, but if the big one comes, it's going to be bad.